Yo, what's good, y'all? So Troll in. I got the MX Master 3 today by Logitech. And we're gonna be going ahead and unboxing this thing and trying it out. So I got my Notebook 9 Pro here by Samsung and I got my Galaxy Tab S6. So I wanna go and try it on Samsung Dex and then try it on Windows. Now here's the thing. So I already got that MX Master 3 and I literally just got it a week ago. So like I have like limited exposure to this thing. I'm still learning about it and everything here, but yeah, I got a second one here and I wanna go ahead and unbox this thing. And I just wasn't patient enough to actually just go ahead and wait to do the video, but now I am. So let's go and do this, I guess. All right, y'all. So like I was saying, I already have the Logitech MX Master 3. And like I was saying, like I only had it for like a week or something like that. So I didn't really get enough exposure to it yet. I'm still learning everything. I don't know what button does what on some areas and stuff. Like I don't know everything yet. But so far, man, this thing is dope. Now we're actually going to be going ahead and actually unboxing this thing now. So we're going to be going ahead and checking all that out. And well, wow, this box look really wet. Let me explain that real quick. So with this little mouse pad here, which I love this by the way, like this Autodesk Fusion mouse pad that I have for like years now, I'm never get rid of it until like it goes bad and then I get another one. And basically, if you don't know what Autodesk is, it's basically, well, this is all I know anyway from my computer aided design class. But basically what it is, is you make these 3D models on your computer and stuff and like basically how like creators make those concept phones and stuff. And we almost never even did anything with those models, even though we had a whole 3D printer, we basically just made the models we got a grade and then we forgot about it now i was actually cleaning this thing and i didn't know what to use so uh i used windex in a rag <laughs> listen chill 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 listen i already know y'all making fun of me behind the screen right now but listen like give me a break i know what to use like i didn't know if soap was a good idea or not so i just used windex and it did the job didn't it but all right y'all so <laughs> all right chill 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 Let's just go ahead and cut this tape and look around the box real quick. So we got the MX Master 3, the Master Series by Logitech with an advanced wireless mouse and max speed ultra fast scrolling for the scroll wheel here. We got the mouse here and you can see it's in this like different texture from the rest of the box with the Logitech logo. And on the right side over here we have USB-C quick charging so that's nice right there. I always love to see USB-C. We have Bluetooth obviously and we're required to have an available USB port now. They say that but it's not required to have an available USB port. You only need it if you want to use the app like and set up for the first time but besides that it's not required and then we got what's inside the box here so we have coffee oh coffee okay that's nice i don't even drink coffee but that's nice yeah i know i'm an american that doesn't drink coffee what what is this but we got the mouse we got the adapter we have the cord that comes with it and then our user manual which we're gonna just throw to the side anyway and then on the back we just got the model number and all this info again which i'm not gonna read except for maybe some of this and it's also supported for windows mac and linux now who uses Linux? Well, yeah, everybody's gonna come for me now that I said that. But we got comfort and support, speed up your workflow, flow cross computer control, and then we get precise tracking on any surface. So even works on glass. Like not like glass like this that you can't see through, which, well, yeah, it does work on there too, but literally glass that you can see through. That's nice. And I'm upgrading from this old, literally a $5 Chinese mouse from eBay. So <laughs> I'm getting a good upgrade here. And then on the left side, we don't got none. On the bottom, nothing. At the top, nothing. Cool, let's just get into this. Thing. so how you get into this box is um wait hold on how do you get into this box oh okay so i see here now you just go ahead and basically pull that up and oh my god how you do this okay this is just a struggle that I should not be dealing with okay there so we got the mx logo here with logitech so decent unboxing um that's pretty much it for the box let's just go ahead and crack into this thing real quick so we go ahead and pull that down and there we go so that's nice right there. So we got a Logitech mouse here and we got all this info here. So let's go and throw that to the side and then we get our USB adapter. So let's go and throw that to the side and then in here, that's where we get our charger, I'm pretty sure. So, yep. So here's our USB-C charger. So we got USB-A to USB-C. And of course, I, well, some of y'all know, almost everybody know probably at this point that I love my USB-C, okay? So I got what, the Galaxy Tab S6, my Notebook 9 Pro, my Galaxy Fold, my S20 Ultra, my Z Flip, they all got USB-C, so just switch to USB-C already. But the fact that they included the cord, that's pretty nice, but this battery life's supposed to last a while anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. But one thing that's really nice about this mouse is, basically, you can go ahead and switch between three devices by, here, let me go and take this off and show you. 
right there. So basically, if you have three computers, you can just switch between three of them. So basically, my three computers is my desktop by Dell, my Notebook 9 Pro, and then my Galaxy Tab. So that's three right there. But basically, with this one now, this is going to be just for my basement and my Notebook 9 Pro. And then this is going to be for my Notebook 9 Pro and then my Galaxy Tab here. And then I guess I'll just figure out whatever I want to do with these after that. And yeah, let me go and talk about this real quick. So literally an hour after I got this thing, like it was already this beat up and I was just using it on like regular surfaces and stuff like my bed, glass, stuff like that, even this. And I posted on Reddit and literally like everybody got on me. I posted on the PC Master Race subreddit and that was a bad idea. They was like, you don't even look at this. What's the point of you complaining about it? Listen, like, you don't even have this thing in the first place, so you can't even complain. Just shut up. That's basically all I got to say. But I do flip this thing over all the time, and I'm always seeing it because I always have to turn it off and turn it back on and switch devices and stuff. Like, you don't get it. So I guess I'm going to just keep this thing on the mouse pad in my bed because this is a $100 mouse right here, okay? So I want it to look good. Sorry, I don't want my $100 mouse to look beat up within the first hour of me having it. But okay, many ran over. I just hate fanboys, basically. But we just got our usual books here, which we just throw to the side, obviously. But yeah, so let's go and look around this mouse real quick. So these buttons are customizable, by the way, in the app, and I'll go and show you all that in a minute. But let me look around this thing real quick. So we got the Logitech logo. We got our normal buttons here. We have our scroll wheel, which it's a pretty nice scroll wheel. Like, I mean, it's just a scroll wheel, but I'm not going to lie. It's nice. And then we have one feature for the scroll wheel. So basically, this button right here is it's enabled by default, by the way. But if you go and click on it, it's like a free scrolling scroll wheel. Like, it's kind of hard to explain. But basically, you know how, like, you're scrolling on some like, a website or something like that, and you have a little bit of friction. So, like, it's not just scrolling freely. That's basically the name of it. It won't do that if you go and click on this button. And then you can just go ahead and turn that back on too. So basically you're just switching between modes and it's nice. And then we got a side scroll wheel here. We have a status light and then we have a couple buttons here on the side. So by default, this is forward and this is back. And basically right here, this is just another button right here. So you can just go ahead and press onto it like that. And that's going to be your recent apps. And then at the bottom, you just got your device switcher. You got your on and off. And then you got the optical laser here. So let me go and switch tables real quick so we can go ahead and, you know, get a better angle for the Galaxy Tab and the notebook and the mouse and all that. And now I'll get back to y'all. All right. We're back at the table. And I got my Galaxy Tab S6, my Notebook 9 Pro, my Windows Phone, my Lumia 950XL, my Samsung Z4 with Tizen. Look at this. My Nexus 6P. And I'm going to do a video on this soon. Don't worry about that. But that's crazy. This thing like 16 years old now. But yeah, I got my mouse right here. It's actually pretty easy to get set up and everything. So basically, how you turn on is, well, you just flip the switch right there. And then to get this thing paired, it should be flashing pretty fast, but it's not on here. So just go ahead and press and hold on to this button right here. And there you go. So now it should be flashing like that. And then you would just go to your window settings or whatever. Or let me show you on the Galaxy tab here. So um, just another coronavirus news. Okay, then. And y'all, look at this. It's 75 degrees outside and we're stuck in the house. Come on now, man. But you would just go to Bluetooth. You go to details. And then you should see it like somewhere around here. So I'm already paired. And I'm using my old mouse right here because, well, it's the, the same exact thing. But yeah, you would just go ahead and look in the list right here. Like I see my MX Master 3 right there. And then you just connect to it so let me tell y'all okay man this thing is a god with samsung decks all right let me just tell you that right now so you can use it in a regular tablet mode i don't know if you can really see that or not but well it's moving right there but let me go over to samsung decks mode real quick but you could just see me using the mouse right here. Man, this thing is so dope with Samsung Dex. Like, I've been using this thing nonstop. Like, my Galaxy Tab of Dex. I'd never really even used it before this mouse. Well, I've been using it somewhat with this little trackpad right here. But, man, that's crazy. So, basically, with the preset settings, let me go and show you real quick. So, this button right here, let me go ahead and click on that. We get the recent apps. And then, if I go over here to maybe, like, I don't know, the My Files or something, go to Videos. You can see right here that this button over here on the front more towards me that's the back button so this button right here is the back button and this is the forward button so that's more useful for like if you're in the internet or something but it works as a regular back button in android and then this button right here is just to enable the free scroll wheel this side scroll wheel right here is just a regular side scroll wheel ain't nothing too special with that but trust me when i tell y'all y'all need this with dex now as for windows i'll go ahead and show you how quickly i can go ahead and switch between these so just go ahead and tap on two and now watch this i already connected you see that mouse right there Cool. 
you get your own dedicated app here to manage your mouse. And it's a really nice app, by the way. So I just want to say props to Logitech for the whole UI and everything. This thing is dope, okay? And you can customize your mouse like a lot. Like you see all the options right here. So for example, I could change like this gesture button here right here at the bottom to something like, I don't know, mute or something. So if I go ahead and press on that, let me go and show you real quick. So now watch this. It just mutes the computer. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't carry over to another device as far as I can see. But, I mean, like, if you have the app installed on another Windows PC or Mac, you should be good. But I really don't like that. Like, if I went ahead and set it to mute on here, it won't transfer over to my Galaxy tab or something. And then I got the ability to set these buttons for, like, specific apps. So, if, like, I'm using Vegas Pro or something like that, and I want this side scroll wheel to be, like, I don't know, like, mute, volume up, volume down, whatever I want to do, I could do that. And then there's just a bunch of other use cases, but I'm not going to get to all that right now. This is just basically the unboxing and basically just showing y'all how it works, like just a little quick tutorial. And this app right here is going to be called Logitech Options. So you're going to need your adapter for this to go ahead and pull all this up. But it should just go ahead and show up by itself to go ahead and prompt you to download it. But if it don't show up, then you can just download it from online. Just Google Logitech Options. But now check this out. So I can go ahead and use this thing with a Windows phone and it's just a regular Windows mouse. My Nexus 6P. And then I even tried this thing with my Samsung z4 and even my galaxy watch like just imagine using a mouse on your watch like that would be so stupid but i guess tyson doesn't support mouses or something because it don't show up but yes yeah, so that's pretty much all i got for y'all so quick disclaimer that i should have pointed out so you only need this once so like once you plug it into your computer and set up with the app you don't need it again so you see right now that i can like go ahead and control my mouse with this app but it's not plugged in so I don't need this right now. I guess it's just the initial setup. But yeah, so thanks for watching, y'all. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But I'll go and play with this thing some more, and I'll go and let y'all know how I feel about this thing. So far, though, this is going to be dope, and I'm going to get the MX keys and all that. Like, I'm making a really dope Samsung deck setup. Like, y'all ain't ready for this, all right? Like, I'm going to make a hybrid for, like, my Dell PC, the Notebook 9 Pro, and the Galaxy Tab. So stay tuned for that, but thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, and stay inside, stay safe hydrate, whatever you do inside, play in your living room, I don't care what you do in your backyard, okay, bye. Oh yeah, and social distancing, don't let that word fall from the back of your mind. You see how there's nobody around me, right? Zoom is your friend. All right, y'all, peace.